Thank you. This is the place. What time is it? Where are we? Yeah. This we're going to be very confusing to some of you people who are just joining us, but uh, <laughs> it's even more confusing to me. This is tonight, and the place is right here. And right here means Birdland, one of the top jazz spots in the whole world. Tonight we have a real all-star show for the next uh, 30 minutes. And uh, the gentleman you're listening to right now in the background is George Shearing in person. The reason the place is jumping tonight and so well packed is that this is the fifth anniversary, anniversary of Birdland. It opened five years ago tonight, which is the way it always is with fifth anniversaries. You'll always find they come along five years after the uh, whole thing starts. Now, we are... I have a lot of celebrities here, very few of whom you can see. I doubt if you can even see me, but the important thing tonight is the music. I'm going to keep the talk down to a minimum. On my left here, we have Al Jasbo Collins, one of New York's favorite disc jockeys. And, uh, oh, the place is packed with uh, a lot of your favorite people, as well as uh, several hundred jam-packed fans who just love to hear the best in jazz. Uh... Over here at the piano, as I said a moment ago, we have George Shearing. George, how are you tonight? Pretty good, Steve. Fine. What would you like to play for us now? Oh, we'd like to uh, play a uh, thing called Lullaby of Birdland. Have you ever heard of it? It's that? only fitting. There you go, George. George Shearing, ladies and gentlemen. Fine. I'll sit down and enjoy it. <laughs>
Who's going to do what here, William? Is Jimmy going to sing, Count? I think Jimmy's going to. Yeah. Where is he? Let's get him out here for a second and introduce him. I'm going to move. I sent for you yesterday, Mr. Rushing, and uh, you're not here tonight. Well, in the meantime, I'd like to say a few words about uh, Basin Street. <laughs> here now. <laughs> Say, Dad, you don't happen to know where Jimmy Rushing is, do you? Jimmy! It isn't that I can't ad lib, it's just that this is not the place for jokes. <laughs> well, Bill, it's you and me and Al here. How about a few fairy tales or something? Here he comes. The man who sings the blues, Jimmy Rushing, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Jim. How you doing? Come on out here. This is the man who has made so many famous uh, recordings, such yeah. as the uh, aforementioned sent for you yesterday, here you come today. That's and, right. And I'm going to move, ooh, 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 way um, to the outskirts of town. Way out on the outskirts of town. <laughs> and, uh, oh, let me see. Going the, to Chicago. Going to Chicago. and oh, girl. Uh, yeah, and uh, get up, get up, get up, woman. I hope you're rusted. Up. That's right. That was a big Count Basie record. That's right. Yes, sir. What are you going to sing for us tonight, James? Sing for you yesterday and here you come today. Okay, you had me worried there for a minute. I thought that was the way you were going to work it. <laughs> sing up there. You're going to have to sing it up there? We're winging the whole thing here, uh, movement-wise, as you can see. I don't think he can stand up there. <laughs> you got five feet of man and about seven inches of space for him to get into. Yeah, Jimmy. It's a triumph of matter over mind. It just goes to show you he made it. All right, with Count Basie's entire orchestra, and why am I waving? you tuned in light, uh, tuned in light, oh boy, <laughs> in case these lights are tuned in, and you tuned in late, we are here celebrating the fifth anniversary of the opening of one of the supreme jazz spots of the world, a wonderful spot in New York City, uh, on 52nd Street, called Birdland. We promised you a real all-star jazz concert in this half hour, and we're going to deliver, we're going to have one of the all-time greats of the tenor saxophone who was just sneaking into the uh, section, Mr. Lester Young. I was going to chat with Lester, but it's uh, a little long distance. Lester, how are you, Father? The president himself. What are you going to play, Lester? Jumping at the woodside. Jumping at the woodside, all right. It's chopping time. Thank you. 
boy. I'm having a wonderful time here, and I hope it's uh, leaking out into your living rooms. Hope you folks down at the studio at the Hudson Theater aren't uh, lonesome. <laughs> we'll be back in the meantime. I trust you're enjoying the music. In a moment or two, we're going to introduce one of the all-time best singers in the whole big fat world, Miss Sarah Vaughan. She'll be up on our stand. I see her getting up now. I'll be up in a second or two. Count? Oh, <laughs> I'm all right. Turn around and talk to Count. There he is. Come on, jump over here for a second. That uh, arrangement is still the swingiest. Do you revamp that every two years, or is that still the original arrangement? Still original, I'd say. Uh-huh. Just goes to, I, I thought you were going to say that. goes to show you if they if you make them good, they stay good. You know? God, no, it's not like that. <laughs> not like that. What year did that first uh, the thing first come out? About, uh, I'd say about uh, 37, 38. And it hasn't stopped swinging since then? Well, I don't know. About You're going to be back over there in a minute, aren't you? Yes, I have been. Okay, good. We'll see you. These are sort of long-distance interviews. Sarah, how are you tonight? Steve, how are you? What are you going to sing for us? Uh, you should know. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. I understand that you and our uh, two of our singers on tonight, uh, Edie Gourmet and Steve Lawrence, are battling it out tooth and nail as to who gets the record on this song. You both recorded it. Oh, I think it's very cute. I like it. Uh-huh. Nice. It's a great song. Like uh, how long will you be in town this trip? Well, I close tonight in Birdland. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. I see. Where do you go next? Uh, Boston. Boston? Well, 29th. We're, we're being seen there right now, so uh, folks up there are probably very happy to know you're coming in town. I'm sure they are. Okay, ready to make yourself comfortable? All right. Make yourself comfortable. Sarah. 
if you're going to sing, that's the way to do it. There's no doubt about that. Don't go away. The whole thing is not over yet. Uh, we have quite a few uh, additional celebrities in the house as my uh, irises begin to get the right focus here. I spy at least one of the DeCastro sisters over there. And uh, she's sitting with George Convertible. <laughs> and we have a lot of wonderful people here. One of the uh, waiters just gave me some of the names. John King is here. <laughs> and Key Luke. And uh, Neil Bonshu and Frankie Masters are at a table right over in that part of the room. <laughs> and there's been a table reserved for Harry Horlick. I don't know when he's getting here, but a lot of wonderful folks are dropping in. How are you? Who are you? I can't see anything of them. Uh, let me see now. We're going to give a little plug here to a. Oh, you got it. You got it. Going to give a little plug here to a great show that's coming on the road, and it is more or less this show you're going to be able. To, you're seeing tonight. You're going to be able to see in person in a lot of cities. In February, they're putting a show on the road, a jazz concert, uh, titled "Birdland Stars of '55," and uh, Count Basie will be part of the show. Sarah Vaughan, George Shearing, Earl Garner. A bonus there, Lester Young and Stan Getz, at least. And there may be some more uh, giant names in addition to those. It'll be getting around very probably to your city sometime during the coming year. The whole show gets organized and hits the road in Feb. So uh, if they're in your neighborhood, you can spend an entire evening with them. Now we are going to turn things back to uh, the count in a couple of seconds here for, uh, yeah, for an arrangement that I think is one of the most exciting examples of big band jazz uh, ever arranged. A thing called, I never get this name straight, is it Bleep? Bleep, blop, blue. Bleep, blop. Count, who uh, who did this arrangement for you? A.K. A.K., don't ask me his last name, that's the only thing I know is A.K. <laughs> <laughs> well, A.K., if you're watching tonight, uh, send us your name and we'll send you a free salami because uh, you arrange the best. This thing was played, I think you've done this on the show twice before, haven't you? Sorry. This is the Count's third appearance on uh, our program with the full band. Every time he gets on, people write in all sorts of insistent telegrams saying, don't let that man get far away, bring him back as often as possible. And we always consider ourselves very fortunate when we are able to do that. But tonight's happening again. This is a nice long arrangement. It can't be too long to suit me. I will suggest one thing, uh, depending on what part of the country you're watching in. It's either uh, after 12 or after 11. This one is a little loud. I want to be honest with you. So uh, think of the neighbors, and maybe you can turn down the volume just a little bit. Dirty, my, wife. my glasses are dirty. <laughs> when my glasses are clean, the eyeballs are dirty. That's what I'm having trouble with. See, so the... Oh, all right. Uh, another thing that happens every time we get a uh, wonderful jazz group on the show, I get a lot of mail from... Rapid jazz fans who say, oh, we know it was Count Basie, we could see that, but who are the sidemen? So we have here uh, Gus Johnson on the drums, Reginald Jones, Thad Jones, Wendell Cully, and Joe Newman uh, in the trumpet and brass section, uh, Freddie Green, Bill Hughes, Henry Coker, Benny Powell, and then uh, down here in the front row we have Frank West, Ernie Wilkins, Marshall Royal, Frank Foster, and Charles Folks. And things are beginning to jump a little bit. But this is not the temple. As much as I enjoy this temple, this is not the temple that you're going to be uh, enjoying in about 18 seconds. Count, you all set? Okay, here we go. Bleep, blop, blues. Take it away.
just had happy news here. We got them another three minutes, and uh, that makes me three minutes happier than I was when we started. What do we do, man? Let's play a little bit, will you? All right. <laughs> this is what I was hoping for. The bar a chair? Yeah. Oh, you can play with it? There we go. Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to do?